Well, hello again, guys. Following my uh, attempt at doing a video showing a bit of fox tracking, etc., the other day, where the wind was terrible and it really made the soundtrack almost uh, incomprehensible, I've got a better day today. It's uh, just a couple of minutes to one o'clock on the Thursday afternoon, so. I'm going to try and do a remake and give you as much information as possible. So, without further ado, we'll uh, have a look and we'll show you the sort of thing that I'm looking for when I'm asked to track down a fox and deal with it. I've been told that this fox tends to be seen up in this field or down in the menage just uh, down there around 8 o'clock each morning give or take 10 minutes either way so uh, I've had a look I found this run we've got uh, a run here where he goes under the fence and he cuts straight through the field now I'm going to zoom in it's quite prominent this run um, you can see it where He's used the same run all the time and padded this track down. This is the sort of thing we're looking for. It's too narrow to be a sheep track and I know that there's no sheep been in this field. And this track is so well used, it's, some, it's two to three inches lower than the rest of the field, so it's very prominent. Comes under the fence here. Now, a way that I know I'm confident this is a fox's run rather than a badger's is just here. If this were a badger, because it's oh, only five to six inches from the ground, I'd expect to find bits of badger hair caught on the wire just there. There's none. I am 99% confident that this is a fox's run. So, it comes from under the fence, over there. So, it comes through here, all the way through this run, and down through here. But where does he go from there? If we turn round, we can see that there is a bit of a, a run padded down there, but it doesn't really go far. Again, because of what knowledge I've got of him, I suspect he's trotting down the track here and then cutting in through the farm uh, and through the menage, etc. And he's going down somewhere to the back of the farm. Armed with that knowledge, it's going to save me a lot of walking about because uh, I would normally, without that knowledge, have to check all these fields and try and pick up his run again. However, before we go down there to have a look, we're going to make an assessment of where I might be able to shoot him from, given the right wind condition. Um, it wouldn't be practical to try him from here, because I would be in full view. So, we want a little bit of cover. Wherever possible, I like to use natural cover. Fox is used to seeing that. He's not used to seeing a hide and things like that. And believe me, they are very intelligent animals. So, we've got a bit of a wall, etc. here. We've got a nice line of sight going down there. If I zoom in, I hope that, yes, the camcorder, it can. It can just pick his track up down there. That's where he comes along. So a logical thing, the wind is perfect today. The wind is blowing. If I look down to the farm, it's blowing straight into my face. So he's not gonna win me. I could squat down behind this wall and quite safely use the shotgun because that track is only some 25 yards down there. And I've been out today and bought some three inch magnums loaded with uh, size three shot 35 grams of steel which uh, at 25 odd yards it shouldn't take more than one cartridge to bowl him over quickly 
cleanly and very humanely. I've now made my way around behind the uh, cottages and the, and the buildings and the menage. Pretty confident that he comes down this way. Uh, I'm gonna have a look here, see if I can pick up his tracks. And through that, we would hopefully be able to find out exactly where he's going. And then, you can see here, it's worn away a bit. I would suspect he's coming down through here and somewhere through this gate, which will suggest that he's carrying on down this way. So we'll have a look and alongside this fence. I can just about make out where something has padded down here fairly regularly. Let's uh, follow it down and have a look. We'll uh, go on down and have a look. Now then, what's this hole here? Uh, it looks like just a straightforward bit of a land drain. However, there is somewhere there, a little bit of padding down, which suggests he might be using this as a bit of cover. We'll carry on down a little further and have a look because this track is continuing down here. Already I can see where he's cutting in. Yes. Now then. This here is worn away, just there, leading into that hole. It looks like this would join the hole a bit further up there, but it also leads down to a hole here. And, then, and there's yet another hole. Something's been quite busy here. Let's uh, have a look. Right, yes, yes. Now then, I hope there's enough light in this hole to pick it up. I'm gonna zoom in. There we have some foxes droppings. Um, how well this will pick them up, I don't know. No, not very. However, there is a way of uh, defining foxes droppings. And I can see it there. They will usually have bits of hair in there, fairly elongated and pointed at the end. That's clearly Fox's droppings. I'm pretty confident that this is where he's going in. Yet another couple of holes here. He's using this ditch for cover. And uh, there's another bit of it. Now then, he's definitely going in here. If I can zoom out, you can see, I'll just put my foot near it, just there. You can see where the ground's worn away. I think that's going to be the main entrance. And we'll have a closer inspection. Okay. Let's have a look. One of the first things I'm going to do is just put my head in here and have a sniff. I've already seen something which I'll point out to you in a minute. And it stinks of fox. It really stinks of fox. I believe he's going down that way. That is leading into his main earth. Now then, there's another thing here that's a bit of a giveaway. If, again, if the camera will pick it up, we'll just try to, yes. There's a bone there. Now, there's another difference between badger and fox. A badger won't leave the remnants of its meal, bones, etc. And it won't make any mess near its hole. Foxes, however, are pretty dirty damned animals in that respect. So, if we accept that uh, this is where Charlie is residing,
we've got to sort out a safe shooting position straight away looking about uh, across here there's a ridge in the field which is estimated about 80 or so yards it will give me a relatively clear line of fire with the 243 rifle uh, one of the things we do have to consider though when we use a rifle for situations like this is the safety aspect sorting out a shot where there's a safe backstop is a must there is no other option I can see from here that I wouldn't have a problem with that this um, just above his hole here there's a banking that rises up two to three feet the field continues to rise and then you've got a nice wall which is about four foot or so high as good a backstop as you're going to get what if we chose to shoot the other way well if we chose to shoot from that wall we'd still get a relatively clear shot as he came down the fence line here but we've got to assess where the safe backstop and safe shot is and where it's unsafe it would have to be across on this line um, but again a thing to consider is in this field here there are sheep and then uh, it obviously wouldn't be practical to wait up there so I could shoot downhill anyway uh, because he would scent me if I were up near that wall however more importantly even if it were practical if he had another run coming in from this direction we've got a big property directly in the line of fire we couldn't use that line of fire we couldn't use that one and we couldn't go across that way this it would be far too risky and uh, as i said the safety aspect of shooting always has to take first priority so there we go we do have an option subject to wind direction of laying out just over across there at the top of this green bit there's a little bit of a gully just behind there that I could actually lie in and get a pretty clear shot to him as he came down this fence line quite safely as long as these sheep weren't in the field. That was a lot simpler than I expected. Hopefully we'll be able to give you a report another day that we've nailed him.